guys, welcome back to the channel. Jarvis here with It's Not Junk TV. Nice old set of leather saddlebags that have been wet, crushed, and left in, laying in the bottom of a barn. We're going to go through cleaning these up. Uh, we're going to stuff them, get them reshaped, um, and get them polished back up. Alright, next thing we got on the list is this old pair of saddlebags. They're extremely dirty, misshapen. So, I've got them down here in the sink catch the wife going for a little while so get these cleaned up warm water works best you don't want to use real hot water um, so we're going to scrub them down regular dish soap to start with and then come back with some saddle soap and try to work out some of the stains and get them clean and see what we got you don't want to get crazy with excess water but don't be afraid to get this wet, old leather wet. You're not really going to hurt it. I'm sure it's been sealed. Motorcycle saddle bags, so it's kind of mint. And we need to get it pliable again so we can stuff it and try to reshape it. Now we got pretty much all the dirt off. We got all the excess water that can pretty much dry up here. Now we need to do something about the shape of them. I kind of miss shaping flat. Been wet too many times. So while they're good and soaked, bubbles. Alright, there they are all stuffed, ready to dry. I'll find a warm place here in the house, probably over one of the radiators, uh, and let this hang for about most of the day. When we come back, they should be all dried and hold some of their shape. Uh, they'll never be like new, but they'll be better. So stay tuned. So we're back with our saddlebags. Um, just a quick wrap up. What we've done so far is we took them, done a good scrubbing, took some uh, dishwashing liquid hot water, scrubbed them down real good, stuffed them, and uh, it's been sitting and drying now for about three days. They're fully dried. Um, initially when I cleaned them I thought that I was going to get away with just being able to polish them. But as you can see, a lot of the original color is gone, kind of faded out. A lot of this is just fade. So, just using a regular shoe polish on it is not going to work. Uh, you could do that and it'll look good for a little while, but it won't last very long. So what we're going to do now is going to use actual leather dye. Um, this is a USMC black, but it's a real deep black. It's messy, so I put down some paper. I'm not trying not to get it everywhere. I'm going to wear some gloves. 
Um, whatever you put this stuff on, it's going to stay. It's an alcohol base, so it absorbs good. So we're going to work on these. I unlaced them, pulled them apart. Uh, if you watched the earlier video, I kind of fought them and washed them together. But uh, if I got to go through and stain them, I'm going to pull them apart. I'm going to leave them stuffed as well, just to make it easier, get all the good into the cracks and crevices and into the seams. And then we'll let these dry a little more, and then we'll come back and then we'll put a polish on them to seal them. Stay tuned for part two of this video and we'll polish these bags up, reassemble them, pull out the stuffing and uh, see what they come out looking like.